Hi everyone, welcome. So in honor of Neptune at the 29th degree of Pisces, I'm discussing today Neptune in aspect to your natal Mercury. So if you have that in your chart, whether it's a hard or soft aspect, this can be how the energy can play out. So if you have a trine, a square, an opposition, um, semi-sex style, in conjunct, all of those things um, are... Um, they influence the Mercury. So remember, Neptune is the outer planet. And when outer planets speak to personal planets, it means that this person's mind is very much connected to whatever's happening in the world. This is someone that either watches a lot of news or doesn't watch any news at all because they tend to be influenced by their surroundings and environment very easily. This is somebody that can be kind of like a chameleon when it comes to conversation as well because they can know a lot about a lot of different things or be very, very keen on a very specific thing. Like they know it to the T. These people tend to be very spiritually bound or religious bound. So you'll find that they'll have some type of aspirational pursuit, spiritual pursuit, um, and they tend to be very... Um, I wouldn't say dogmatic because this is a very soft, like soft energy. The only time I can see this energy having issues is when there's a square in an opposition, and in a square in an opposition, they tend to project their feelings onto other people, or they tend to play the victim martyr um, kind of situation in relationships with others. So it's always the other person's fault and not their fault. This is when the energy is acting on unconscious level, or the person is just not good like point blank period another thing that can happen is that the person can always be the victim right people can always be blaming them when you have it in a hard aspect when you have it in a soft aspect what tends to happen is this person is very open to new ideas they can allow energy to flow a little bit easier when they're dealing with the public a relationship with your siblings, okay, because Mercury rules your siblings, your early um, upbringing, your aunts, your uncles, your neighborhood, your environment. This is a person that could have traveled a lot when they were young because Neptune is nebulous. It's everywhere. It's the world. It's the universe. So this person can be very well-traveled or well-read or can be really, reading can be an issue for them as well. I find sometimes the person can have an issue with uh, letters, or understanding um, certain letters like B's and D's. Uh, so that can be something too with a Neptune aspect with your Mercury. You, you, don't, you tend to not learn the way that everyone else around you learns. If you have Mercury retrograde and it's aspecting your natal Neptune, add like 10, 10 times that because when Mercury is retrograde and it's aspecting Neptune or Neptune is retrograde and it's aspecting Mercury, there's an integration that's happening here, but the person is integrating their own thoughts and ideas out into their environment as opposed to the environment giving them the influence with the retrograde. They tend to kind of go their own way. These people can be very good at artistic pursuits. They can be really good with psychological things, people that work with sound, photography, um, any type of work that you can um, do that where you're behind the scenes or in front of a camera or speaking to people. They tend to have very, very nice voices or their voice tends to have some type of um, softness to it. If you find that the voice is very rough or the voice is very tough, you wanna see if there's a, 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 like Mars can be aspecting the Mercury at the same time, which can have the person have more of an adrenaline to their voice, um, but they can also reach vast audiences. So if you have this aspect in your chart, you are either someone people listen to a lot or someone people tune out. Um, you can talk and people can think that you're crazy and you can actually be very psychically inclined. I've had clients that I've noticed that they can have dreams, visions, and those things will come true. Um, they tend to be connected to the other world and tend to be very spiritual, like I said. Um, another influence with this would be um, glasses. If you have Mercury and your Neptune in aspect, these people tend to wear glasses, bifocals. Um, they tend to live in la-la land sometimes too. Uh, and they like to have a lot of daydreams. So these are people that need time to themselves and then they have time where they're around a lot of people. So there's like a, a, 
an extremity that can be happening with this Mercury and this Neptune where they're feeling like they're one with everyone and then they're, they need to kind of separate so they can get time alone to regroup. If you have a Mercury-Neptune aspect and you do not spend time alone where you're not listening to anything or anyone, your mind, you can be having um, a lot of issues with processing which thoughts could be yours or someone else's. If your Mercury or your Neptune is being in, is in an aspect with Saturn that grounds that energy a little bit more, it brings a little bit of um, reality to that Mercury and that Neptune. Um, or if you're having a Neptune or, or having a Saturn transit to your Mercury or your Neptune, it may also give you reality checks on things that you're not able to see clear. You can also see invisible things, so like ghosts, aliens, those kind of things. If it's aspected by Uranus, you will hear people talking about conspiracy theories and how all this other stuff, because Uranus is always talking about the um, the society and what's happening in society and the undercover and the elite and things that people don't know about. So if you have Neptune, Mercury aspects, I would definitely say music, um, anything that has to do with yoga, breath exercises, uh, healing body work, uh, acupuncture, uh, massage therapy, all those kind of things are going to be very, you're going to be attracted to those kind of things. Now there can also be an opposite of all this, right? So if you have a Mercury, Neptune aspect in your chart as well, you can also be very ruthless. Okay. Depending on what else is going on in the chart, this is a general video. So we want to just keep it like that, but you can be very ruthless to the point where you're sneaky and you lie to people. And you can be very good at acting. So what you do is you you create these scenarios and stories where you're the victim, where people can feel bad for you, where you're always the center of attention. I have noticed strongly when Neptune and Mercury are in conjunction, the person wants, it's like a Christ-like mentality. And they tend to kind of like give too much or give too little and then expect way too much from people or way too little from other people as well. Now, remember, Mercury also rules commerce. It's the, the, the planet in your chart that also tells how the person is dealing with their money. I have met millionaires with this aspect as well. So you are able to attract money very well to you or you can lose money really well. These people tend to be really good at winning lottery tickets and actually just like kind of miraculous things kind of happening to them and they can't really explain how or why they tend to also be well connected so neptune tends to be like celebrities and elite people these people can actually rub shoulders with them they can be related to someone that is um a celebrity or someone that has a high status or someone that has a lot of influence and can move a lot of weight for them you know can do a lot for them um what's another mercury neptune aspect before i finish mm. I'm going to link those videos above and you guys can uh, just look at those videos that I made and they have a little bit more in-depth um, information in, the, in them. The remedies for your, for your Neptune Mercury aspect, you need time alone. You need to have a place that you can go to that is just yours. And I learned this from um, an astrologer. Um, that passed away he said that when you have mercury neptune aspects you need to put a picture of the ocean in your wallet and you need to put a picture of a mercurial thing in your wallet because these people tend to also spend money very like 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 water so what you're doing is you're counteracting the energy you're using remedies physical remedies to counteract the energy if you have neptune mercury also it would be really good to have a fish tank in your house uh, water animals uh, or something from a water I don't know like a seashell or something put something in your home that is a manifestation of Poseidon okay or Poseidon's fork something like that that will help your energy field okay so I'm gonna stop here if you guys um, have any questions or answers I'm gonna leave my email and my contact on the bottom and thank you guys so much for listening to my Neptunian series of Neptune in aspect to natal uh, personal planets. Thank you.